Today was a funny day, not in ha ha, but in weird, it really was. I woke up around 6.30 and I felt so depressed and I felt, geez, it's like today's gonna be an uphill battle. It's gonna be a struggle for me. But I look outside of myself and life is going pretty damn good. So what's happening is me thinking too much about myself. And it usually happens when I'm bored or you know, nothing's going on sort of thing. I'm supposed to just be relaxing and taking it easy. What better thing to do and destroy your vacation by thinking about yourself in a negative way? And what was going on, I started to compare myself. You know, my friends are retired. My friends have more money than me. My friends are smarter. They got bigger cars. Here's me, an alcoholic, spent the last 30 years of my life trying to get my life in order. My life's been in order for many years. You know, I still go to counseling off and on. I can't run my own life. Still going on and on, like, get off the cross, Terry. We need the wood. Feeling like a victim, feeling like I don't have enough or I don't measure up. Take me to his places that I don't want to go. And it's like these feelings and these thoughts sort of just seep into my brain. I start evaluating my life, but it always goes to the negative. It always goes there. In that morning, it was heavy, man. It was really heavy and I was in tears. I brought myself to tears and I'm talking to my wife. She got up about an hour later. I started talking to her and I told her what's going on. I said, you know, Bernie, this is silly. You know, this is silly because it's not true and I know it, but I get in these, mo these modes of victim mode and feeling down on myself and I'm not progressing and I'm measuring up and all that. And she says, Terry, I know. She goes, that's your, like your MO, you go there. And I've always struggled with self-esteem. I really have. I've had a self-esteem issue ever since I can remember. And that's basically the crux of the problem, right? The way we think about ourselves and the way we feel about ourselves is our self-esteem. It's not about what any other people think, it's about what we think. And a lot of times I feel I don't measure up. I don't measure up to other people or I don't have gratitude for the progression or the great things I've done in my life. And it doesn't matter how much sobriety you have or you can go to those places that don't feel comfortable in sobriety. So, you know, a therapist told me one time, he said, you know, Terry, you could have a million dollars. You could have the best of everything in your life and you still feel worthless. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about still feel worthless? He goes, exactly, because it's not about material items. It's about the way you feel about yourself. Stop looking outside of yourself to find your self-esteem. Look within yourself and be grateful and find out and look and look at all the great things that you've accomplished in your life. And I tell you something, it's incredible the things I've accomplished in my life. It's incredible. I have a great life compared to a lot of people. I really do. Marry twice, criminal charges, mental issues like crazy, emotional problems like crazy, alcoholism, traumatic childhood. I, the list could go on and on and on. Guys like me are not supposed to be where I am right now. Guys like me are not supposed to be there. They're not. And anybody watching this video and you're sober today, guys like us are not supposed to be where we're at. We're not. By the grace of God, by your will, power by your ability to get courage when you are afraid all those sort of things have brought you where you are it may not be perfect your life and my life is not perfect but you know something I have to think about those things and fight those negative thoughts fight the when I feel low self-worth and low self-esteem because I am NOT like that it just seeps in and those past experiences come back to haunt me and they say, Terry, you're garbage. You got a cottage, but it's not good enough. You got a car, but it's not good enough. Look at you're a failure. You should be further in your life. You should be retired. And you know something? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. It doesn't work. It really doesn't. I'm grateful today. I've snapped out of it. I'm grateful. I went to meetings. I reached out. I asked for help. And I told people what is going on, no matter how silly it was, to talk about it. And they say, it's okay, Terry. We've talked about this before. Just move forward. You've got a lot to be grateful. And they remind me of how things were 
because my sponsor has been with me for 28 years, how things were and how things are now. They remind me of that. He reminds me of that. And I tell you, it's okay. It's okay to feel like that. The problem is we need to find mechanisms or help to get out of that state because those stories that I tell myself are nothing but lies. They are nothing but lies, believe it or not. That's all they are is a bunch of lies that are in my self-conscious or somewhere lying in my brain somewhere, just ready to bring me down on that day when things are going great, okay? So just a bit of a rant, I guess, a bit of a talk, but it's a real life. It's real life being sober. It's real life. It really is, okay? No matter how far we go in sobriety, there's always gonna be something to work on. There's always gonna be something. And that, that, that's just life. That has nothing to do with me or anybody watching this video. It's just the way it is. So take it one day at a time. Try and be grateful most of the time. And remember, every day you're sober, you are getting better and your life is getting better around you. Believe it or not, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're going to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Remember, sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. God bless. Take it one day at a time and I'll see you later. Ciao for now.